Have you ever been accused of being maybe delusional or at least overly optimistic? Well, today I want to talk to you about the difference between having hope and having faith. It's an incredibly important difference that you can feel in your body, and it'll stop you from icing over things that you really should be paying attention to and also standing firm in things that matter. This is Zen in a Moment, and it's a podcast where you can learn to train your brain to stop stressing forever and be the cool, awesome, fabulous person you know you can be. I provide tips and strategies that move you from stressed out to in the flow, meaning feeling light, open, and wise. I'm your host, Zen Cryer DeBrook, stress as guidance expert. I have been accused in my past of being chronically optimistic, or at least like, you know, a really happy-go-lucky person that has a tendency to look at the bright side a lot. In fact, I've had friends who've literally said, if I want to stay feeling bad, I won't call you <laughs> because you will make me feel better. And sometimes I just really want to feel bad. And I think if I can relate to that. and Maybe you can too. But here's the thing, you know, sometimes when we have hope for something, we're really glossing over some deeper issues that need to be handled. And we can use hope as a delusional element in our lives that could hurt us. What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is, is like maybe you're in a bad relationship and you have somebody that is taking advantage of you, a friend, for instance, who uh, keeps borrowing money from you or, or is, 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 you know, not really showing up for you and sucking all of your energy, right? But you keep having hope that the two of you are going to get along again. Or maybe it's your finances, Maybe you keep spending money and with the hope that you're going to be able to pay off those credit card bills, but yet there's a place in you where you keep spending the money and you don't, you're not looking at that. There's all kinds of ways in which we get this little niggly feeling inside, which I call closing. We each have an internal guidance system, and I'm going to be talking about how to use that internal guidance system to really suss out whether you're in a delusional state of hope or whether you're actually acting on a deep sense of faith. There's a physical difference in the body. If you don't know what your internal guidance system is, please go to my website, zeninamoment.com, and on the homepage, there is a video that will walk you through an exercise where you will physically feel this part of you that you were born with. And then it'll give you a context to what we're talking about here. All right, so hope can trick you. When you have a closing feeling and you're feeling anxiety, uh, for some people, we all have different strategies of dealing with the anxiety and dealing with these closing feelings. In fact, closing is a thing that's being given to you by your internal guidance system. And the, the deal is, is that that means that what you're thinking is not true or not going to happen. And so we can have a hope for a new job or a hope for a new relationship or a hope for better health or all these different things. But if we're closed inside as we're thinking about the, those quote unquote hopeful thoughts, that means that what we're thinking is not true or not going to happen. And so continuing on down the path of being generating hopeful thoughts, well, I hope this works out, but feeling the anxiety, the worry, the fear inside means that that thing is not going to work out. And you need to look at that. You need to look at, this is closing me. That means what I'm thinking is not true or not going to happen. I need to find what opens me as the reality of this situation. So it may be that you need to do some study on your finances, take control of them, and not hope anymore that you're going to get a raise or hope that you're going to make the money that you're you know, planning on making. Now, here's the good news, right? There is a faith and that is the opening of the internal guidance system. So if you have faith that the relationship that you're in is going to work out, or you're feeling faith, what it feels like is it feels like a deep, calming, opening feeling in the body, and it is, it is centered. It feels like a groundedness when you hold the thought. It's calming. It's releasing. You'll feel this in the video on the homepage at zenandamoment.com. It's a calming. And here's the thing. That means that what you're thinking is true or is going to happen. It feels like an unshakable experience. Someone can come, in to, come to you and try to talk you out of the thing that you're opening to, like act, act as if and try to tell you as if it's not going to happen. And every time you think about it not happening, you'll close, which is like a double yes that it's going to happen. You'll close, meaning when you think about, oh my gosh, this job I'm, I'm going for isn't going to happen, you'll feel a tightening. 
Okay. And you're like, wow, that means what I'm thinking is not true. So this job is going to happen. And you can stand firm in that. You can stand firm in someone's healing or your own healing. If it's in relationship to your health, you can stand firm in your faith behind your children. Maybe they're going through a difficult time. And every time you think they're going to work it out, you open. They don't need me this time. You open. And your friend or family member may come in and tell you that you need to help your kid or you need to change this or you need to act a particular way with them. And when you think about the, the way that they're suggesting you be with your child, it closes you, creates a tightening or an anxiety inside of you. And you go, no, I know what's best for my child. I have faith that, that, that what I'm doing in relationship to my kids is accurate. Or maybe you're in a relationship with a, your spouse or a significant person and they're not doing so hot. Maybe they're not treating you perfectly. There's some problems going on. Whenever you think about leaving them or that it's time to go, you close. And then whenever you think that they're going to get through it, the relationship's going to make it through, this is just a period of time, you open. And that you need to stand fast, stand firm, be by their side, have faith in them. You stand firm. And once again, maybe somebody comes in and tries to talk you out of that, tries to have you leave them or tell you how bad they are. And when you, when you hold those thoughts, you feel that tightening. And you're like, wait a minute, no, no, no. So that's what faith is. The Bible says that the faith the size of a mustard seed can move mountains. And I think the reason is, is because when you actually find the opening in a, fa- in a thought that is creating faith in you, no one, including your own mind, can take it from you. The, and, and there's a vibrational energy inside of your body that's unshakable. I, I like to think that this is the reason why grandmas have such power with their prayers for their babies, right? It's because they just, they, they, they just have this depth of knowing and they just hold and firm in their prayer and visualizing and seeing this young person in their life making it, right? So it's very, very important for your success and happiness that you begin to discern, discern is the powerful word, the difference between having hope for an outcome that may, that is not going to happen, or turning that thought into faith that's unshakable in the face of adversity, and the way to do that is to pay attention. If, it, if you're feeling anxiety at looking at the hopeful future, that future is not true. You're being <laughs> chronically optimistic in a negative way. Your, your survival t- scenario, you know, the way that you're handling a difficult situation, is not accurate. However, if that hopeful or that optimistic outcome, I should say, However, if that optimistic outcome opens you, creates a sense of peace, calm, and expansion in your body, stand firm, my friend. Stand firm. That is a truth. And it's in you standing firm for those around you and yourself that you will make the biggest difference, that you will be able to be confident and unshakable in your beliefs and your knowing. All right, this is Zen in a Moment. Please pass this podcast along. I believe there's a lot of people out there who could use some nourishment twice a week. We come to you on Mondays and Thursdays. I hope you're enjoying them. I would love for you to comment below. I want to hear your responses. What do you think about hope and faith? How is it in your life? You know, what do you think about this concept of the difference between being hope being delusional but faith being unshakable? Also, I want to encourage you to go to zeninamoment.com. I have a live event coming up in Morgan Hill, California. It's called the Extreme Stress Makeover. Uh, it is August 18th, 17th, 18th, and 19th. It is going to be amazing. So I want to. you can click the link at the bottom of this email, which will take you to the page that will tell you more about it, and I'd love to answer any questions you have. And also, I just want to share with you that I am so thrilled and excited you're listening to this podcast. I'm sending you my love and my blessings. Until next time.